All right, welcome back. Now, according to the United Nations Children's Fund, Nigeria presently get about 20.5 million children um, out of school children. And uh, they say, very sadly, 60% um, are actually girls. Now, a lot of foundations don't actually come up to make sure, say, the Nigerian child gets access to education. And one of them, not the one where we get inside the house, the one for Solomon Lee Tracy Foundation. Just give you a little brief concerning this foundation. Now, this foundation, they don't see that giddy about to make sure, say, Nigerian Pekins then, they get access to education and also they get access to affordable education for inside we do Nigeria, especially if for their family they don't get money, but the Peking get interest to go to school. But enough it goes school because money not day. That's not why this foundation actually did for them. Now the founder and executive director, whether they call Charles Solomon, they actually born and born and raised and for inside Abba. Um, for Eastern Nigeria. Now he attend both primary and secondary school for inside Abba before he moved to the United States a few years after completing his secondary school education. And he does serve eight years for inside the US military where he can fall in love with physical fitness. And with that one, in the use and take raise money to bring come Nigeria to make sure say Nigerian Pekins then get access to education. Join me welcome the founder of the One for Solomon Literacy Foundation, Charles Solomon. Good to have you in the house. Thank you very much. Thank welcome you. Welcome to the Thank show. You. One Thank for you. son of the soil. Thank um, you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so really, um, this foundation where you don't start up so now, looking at um, where you grow and, and um, how you take, um, you, how they bring you up from the, from where you did to migrate to where you, from where you be did to, where you be did before to where you did now. Yeah. What thing make you actually focus on raising funds for these children? So, uh, first of all, I greet you and I say, when I welcome me, uh, I, I just say, my come greet you now too. Come, <laughs> come tell them what thing would they do. Uh, the thing where it motivate me, say, make I, you know, make we do what thing would they do with this uh, foundation, be say, you know, like you talk um, for your introduction, I hear them bomb me. So, me, I don't come out. I don't see the life where everybody they live for that side. I don't look and say, uh, you don't take much for people to obtain their education. So when I've been the military, so the thing just entered my head, say, I don't need too much money. I don't suppose the rich man, before I come back, can't do anything for education. So now I can't say, okay, make I form this organization. Say, any, any, any way you be, any small way, enter my pocket. Make I come back, enter, you know, all these places where these children don't get opportunity to go to school, or we don't get money, or their parents don't get money to send them to school. So now waiting really motivates me be that. So anytime we small money enter my hand or we do small fundraiser for, for US, uh, as you just mentioned, I'm say I'd be a fitness person. So we'll just do small sports events, collect money, buy school supplies, go give these children. I totally like them. Now with initiative like this, we'd only be very happy because apart from the fact that you come up for inside Obodo Nigeria, inside Obodo United States, you still look and say, come, there is still a gap for inside educational sector for Nigeria. So make I come in with my own little quarter, make I try and see how I feel how let children go to school. I totally like something like Thank this. You. Now, with your kind of person where you don't be exposed to Western education, mm -hmm. especially for inside Obodo United States, and with the where, where Nigerians they cry, say our standard of education don't actually fall. What do you feel say be the reason why we get a falling standard of education? And uh, uh, to tell you the truth, you now the same thing we, I feel say they affect everything for Nigeria. Now the same corruption we say, you know, whether whether we like them or not, and the thing we they face. You know, we say money no day to make standard of education for the country to be better. But you know, you know the story where we say anybody we get, you go pack, put in for in pockets, or you go send in kids for better school, but you go forget say people for your own area, no, you know, children for your own area, no, you know, no, they do well for school. So now the main thing be that, and the fact say we don't get that, most of us don't get that sympathy. Say we they look out for another person. We know they put ourselves for other people's shoes. See, say these children really won't go to school. That's the actual point. They actually won't go to school, but the money no did there. So I think say if we if we fit solve that problem for there, say make we put that interest for our leaders, say make them really care for our our people. They go go deep down and say you know you don't need to spend much to put these uh, children for school. Now, if you look, if you just as we talk about the educational system for Nigeria, with waiting, you don't come outside talk. You feel say our educational system still get a standard compared to waiting you that actually receive outside the country. Yeah, I I, I believe it gets standard because you know, um, like I go primary and secondary school here, and 
the, the way where they take trainers for school here, if you come go down side, you go see, say, our own here, they tougher. And you also, you actually, it's modulated, everything they, you know, um, you follow for line. Until you can't reach there, you can't can see, say, what they do there, even easy parts, what they do here. So if you fit, maintain what we get, improve and buy um, apparatus or equipment for most of these labs for, for school, uh -huh. You go even improve what we already don't get for hand. So I think, uh, you know, I believe uh, the standard day, but not to improve them, be the problem we we'll get. Now, I don't they privilege to actually work with people where they make sure say they want to uh, make a lot of Nigerians get access to education. Mm. And I don't know to say, in some cases, some of these parents, who they try to help their became. So, so when you don't help their became reach certain stages for inside um, school, they'll come to you say, Uncle, at this point, uh, may you just stay house. The money where they send, they give and do when you go to school, I better give us, we'll not feel chop. We'll not feel actually chop <laughs> at all. So you don't actually experience that. And what will be your process of selecting these kids yeah. for education? That, that's a very good question you just asked. So because now the, uh, when we deform this thing, now the problem we, we've been to think about before, you know, uh, uh, mismanagement of funds, say we bring this money, who won't give the money? Say one donates, or uh, one donates the supplies straight to the school, or straight to the kids, or to the parents. And you know, all of us they imperfect. I know we say the country too better like that. We say if you give person money, go actually use and do what they're supposed to do. So what thing we do, we say, and you know, like myself, I I decided to get involved. I say I go enter inside, you know, I go follow, travel, go inside all these villages. Make sure say anything what they donate, they enter the picking hand. You understand? And if we decide say we we'll go to school, for instance, this um, last week we went to Joss, one of those IDP camps for Joss, okay. because most of the kids for there they won't go to school. But because of the situation when they happen for the area, they know if they go to school again. So me, I make sure say the books and the bags and this other small this thing we will carry. Then are the the children we will give them. I will make sure say the parents also, you know, go send them to school. Um, so you give the money to the parents? Uh, no, we know we not distribute money. When it comes to money... Why does one go to school? Uh, How do you pay the school fees? So what, what we do is, um, because the foundation is still there very young, so what we do is now we select the ones where they do well for school, and there's that drive for them to, you know, to continue. So we select those ones, and in front of their um, uh, principal or headmaster, whoever they, they are around, we go donate there, understand, give them to the family and to the, uh, to the child uh, there. And also we try to, they follow, um, they track them. Follow up, yeah. yeah do follow up, they ask, okay, how now they do, how the picking they do. So you see they maintain in results and everything. And waiting be the next step. If they still need our help, you know, we'll go continue. So we're not gonna just pack everything like that, just give them. Yeah. Because like you talk, uh, nobody say they don't want to send them, but uh, another thing fits come up. And that won't go, just take up the So money. if you mention some of the places where you don't go apart from just where you don't go right now for inside mm -hmm. Nigeria to go do this project where you work on? Yes, so um, we started off from Abba because of obvious reasons that there I, I go to school. Oh, that was, that's where I was born and went to school. So we kicked off in Abba and we went to other, moved to other places in Abia State. And then after Abia State, we went to some places in uh, Akwaibom. And after we do our choir, when we do, we went to Abuja, we did something called um, Hike for Books. So that Hike for Books, we just walk her, you know, some kilometers, use and do, uh, bring awareness to say, most of these kids, they walk along distances to school. So as we do that one, the money we will collect, we use and buy schools for, for the local, get some local schools where they, one area where they call, um, uh, for that inside inside some of the villages for Abuja, Abuja. Abuja there, yeah. So you raise funds to buy books for these children from yes, inside the school. books and other schools. So if you need, if you, if um, people where they watch the show, now, if they mm -hmm. need to come join you, maybe be a partner, sponsor, how they feel reach you? Oh, where exactly they feel reach so you? So we we information? we get uh, we day social media, we day uh, our website also day. Um, it will be a social media handle. So social media for the uh, foundation is. Uh, for Instagram is at NSL Foundation. At NSL Foundation. Yes. Okay. One yeah. for Solomon Literacy, Literacy Foundation. Foundation. Yes. Okay. 
And then for the website is www.wafosolomon.org. Org. Yes. All right. Now that they get all the information where they need. Thank you so much. This very is nice. Very lovely. Uh, very, very lovely. lovely. And I know say that this foundation was named after your dad. Yeah. Uh, after my grandfather. Your actually. grandfather. Yes. Okay. So the man being, when he been there alive, I know Mitam actually, but according to the story we are here, he was a community leader. You know, he try, say it's more way he gets, he go take care of everybody for the for community. Nice. So, <laughs> I don't say very nice. Around. So, please sponsor this particular initiative. Follow them on top of their website. And also on top of Instagram, you can actually find them, right? Yes. All right. For their website now, www.1forsolomon.org. Now, it be their website where if you go work out, go for more information. Um, thank you so much for coming. Thank to you the very studio. much. And look, well done on this wonderful well project. Thank you. Selfless thank project you. you did do. Thank you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.